Okay, so this is Morgan's Prey. Uh, I did another video on the Singularity game mode. This is just another game mode that you can do, uh, which is a really cool idea, and I wanted to show it in a video. Uh, it's pretty quick, so I'll just do one real quick one. Maybe I'll do two. Um, Be ready for anything. But you, it's like a round-based wave activity that you add a modifier to, uh, and I feel like it has a lot of potential here for where it could go. So I'll show you here in a second. So we're going to be doing right. bandits, which I think nothing. that means that we're going to be fighting the fallen. So Morgan's Prey, which is an Ahamkara. This is like a whole Ahamkara thing with making a wish. You can see there's the little baby Ahamkara there, which is really, really cool. And he's going to send us into a trial. So we can choose between one of these two modifiers, which there's the easy. You know what? Most people go for the more difficult one, which get plus 750 kill points per at 50% health. Probably activate a barrier. Ooh, that's going to be annoying. Um, so it, it does add a bit of a modifier. There's easy modifiers and then more difficult ones. Uh, every time I've played this, they always go for like the more difficult one because it gets you more points. Probably better rewards as well. And then you have a timer for this round. And so I'm going to... So you basically just try to kill, get as many points. I think enemies just kind of keep spawning. Oh, goodness. That's unfortunate. games. Pop that real quick. So we're, yeah, we're, what we're trying to do right now is we're just trying to get as many points as possible as fast as possible. Because I think that spawns the boss. Oh, we're not going to kill them. That sucks. Your wish okay. into Okay, so now, second round, we choose another modifier, which I'm assuming, yeah, upon taking damage, powerful combatants fire projectiles and retaliation. So just another modifier, which gives us even more kill points, which I think just the kill points, I think, means just it, every kill gets us closer to that 40,000 to get the boss to spawn, I believe. So now we're going to go over here. And then the abilities are going to do more damage or more points. I mean, oh, I got to try up, I think. Oh, really? Oh, they're killing him before I can use my ability. Okay, not sure what happened there. Is that misadventure? Don't understand it. We're going to move on. Okay, so we got the 40,000 points now, so now the boss is going to spawn. Defeat Belomrix. I'll have to back the video up and see what I did to die. Uh oh. And that's basically all it is. But you can expand upon this and add more rounds or harder, harder bosses, harder difficulties. Battle rating is trip sevens. And then you can claim your pinnacle reward here. Hey, MVP, even though I had a misadventure. <laughs> nice. All right, they got to rub it in with the zero deaths on both of them. Okay, so we're going to do one more Morgan's Prey. This time I'll use a different character than the uh, Hunter, than Wolf, who is, like, the main character. Uh, the thing with this is they're tied to, like, the element. You don't choose, like, a Hunter. So watch if I switch character. So you don't, like, I core array. So I'm going to use a tall. 
who is an arc warlock. So you select the character, and the character is what defines uh, whether it's arc or solar or void, or if it's a titan or a warlock or whatever. Alright, uh, I'm assuming we're going with special. Immediately acquired points. Are we doing that one? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Combatants gain invisibility for three seconds every five seconds. Oh, that's not that big of a deal, because the invisibility is really easy to see. Okay, so yeah, so this is the warlock character at all. Uh, she is the Ark Warlock in the game. Now, I don't know if they're going to have multiple characters that are, like... I don't know if they're going to have multiple characters that are, um, you know, like multiple Ark Warlocks or anything like that. But she is the one that I have, at least as of right now. And she can use a hand cannon. One ability is I can like heal. Just like heal him. I, it might. It, I don't know if it gives him a buff or anything. I just know it heals him. Safety glass. Powerful combatants. Activated barrier upon it. Yeah, for sure. Turns out a hand cannon is actually really kind of tough to use in a, in a mobile game. Uh, but yeah, Wolf so far is like easily the best character in the game just because like he has an ability that's really strong that every time you get a kill with it, it just keeps coming back. So far, I like it all, though. So, yeah, so I just healed him with my R1 ability because it told me he was low. Which is pretty cool that they have, like, a designated healer sort of... Sort of It and there was no time left. Dum dum. Uh, base capacity probably heal themselves when attacked. Probably that one, right? Yeah. Let's do this together. Okay, so now we're getting to a third round. So, and I think the longer you take, I think just the, the harder it gets because there's just more modifiers and buffs happening. I believe. But I feel like the possibilities with this are, are like, like a lot of them. Uh oh. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just got a quick heal off. I get. Yeah, so the healing ability is really cool. I'm all about that. All right, so now it's time for the final boss. Believe in the reality you wish. Oh, 
he's getting belted. I like the idea of the Warlocks being a designated support healing role, though. It gives them more individual, like, like it makes the classes definitely different. Like, your Hunter is your DPS, your Titan is your defense, and your Warlock is your support, which is, I feel like, what it used to be. 782. Hey. All right, now we'll go collect our rewards here. Hey, MVP, let's go. And yeah, so that's uh, Morgan's Prey, another really cool game mode from, um, another really, really cool game mode from Destiny Rising that I hope, you know, Bungie's looking at this and seeing how we're reacting to things and maybe there might be some implementation later. That's wishful thinking. But either way, I am actually having fun with this mobile game quite a bit. So let me know what y'all think down below. And that is all I got. I'll talk to y'all later. Webcam's over here now. All right, love you, bye.